For Mildred Howard, her titles were often very, very important. Sometimes they're humorous, sometimes they relate to history. In this piece, titled Salute to Sojourner, Still Water Runs Deep, she has made a tribute to two very, very important women. She acknowledges the strength and the really um, personal determination of two women who fought against slavery. Sojourner Truth was a slave who was then freed. She was the first woman to go to court and she fought for the return of her son who had not been freed. And here we have in front of this image a book. It happens to be a first edition volume of Uncle Tom's Cabin written by Harriet Beecher Stowe. Now one of the things that Mildred has done here is she has put paint over the pages, she stitched and closed up the book, so we can't really read it, but it is absolutely vital to this piece that we know that this is a first edition. This book, which is so fragile, was written at the time that slavery was still an issue in this country. One of the things that is very important with Mildred's work is that it is often related to personal experience. And in this case, Mildred had made a visit to an historic plantation. And in that period of time, while she was experiencing the plantation, thinking about slavery in a very immediate, intense way, she also had a sense of the swamp. And the swamp to which this quote, which is, she's written from the book in her own hand, listen, still water run deep. If you make it to the other side, to the other side, she'll be waiting. There's freedom. If you can get across that swamp where there were alligators. And so what she has done to really show us how she felt the danger and the fear of the alligators and of that treacherous journey that slaves made when they tried to escape to freedom. She has taken actual alligator claws and she has them coming out of this little baby's foot. So you have the sense of the snapping jaws, the claws reaching and how dangerous and treacherous it was. And Mildred's work is actually, it engages us on so many different levels. For instance, this base for this piece is actually from a sink. So we have this allusion to water, the water coming up. And at the base of the sink, she has a lock. So references are very common in her work in many different pieces. The lock kept slaves chained. So here she has a piece that comes out of the slavery through the water and then if you get to the other side, you have freedom. 